Hello everyone and welcome to the third video in the memory based question SEBI phase 1 year 2020. Earlier to this there have been videos on year 2022 completely for the descriptive and MCQ part and also there have been video for 2020 descriptive question and 20 objective questions which were covered in part 1 and part 2. Now in this particular video I'm again I'm going to show you 10 questions. The answers to all the 10 questions will be given at the last of the video like end of the video. There you have to uh, check where Ever you went right and wherever you went wrong so you have to grab a pen and paper mark your answer and at the end you have to evaluate your attempt get yourself a plus one when it's a correct attempt and get yourself a minus 0.25 if it is not and at the end i'll tell you what are the good score what are the bad score and where you need to work on so let's start the video with the question number 21 or the first question for this particular video this particular question is related to the b plus trees in the dbms and you just have to identify the correct statement that will justify the b plus tree if you need to pause the video to attempt the question you can do uh, that thing any point at any point of time and then resume whenever you are done with that question Question number second is related to a particular code there you have to check the entire code so this is the entire code after uh, this main and this this the second snippet is related to the while loop which is just in continuation to the earlier one the options to this questions are here and you have to see that code execute that code and guess the correct output for this particular thing or not exactly the output you have to guess the kind of algorithm that is actually working behind the scene. The third question is again related to a code based question. This is a very easy question related to arrays and uh, there with the pointer. So you just have to guess the correct output here again in the C. Now next question is related to the commands that will tell you how like which bash you have to use. So it will show you some kind of bashes which are available and you just have to pick the correct command which will actually fulfill that purpose. The next question is related to the Dijkstra single source shortest path algorithm. There will be a question uh, on algorithms like this as well. You will be having some graphical visuals or normal questions and then you have to apply the entire uh, algorithm to get the correct output so here you have this particular uh, graph and you have to apply the dextra single source shortest path algorithm to get the correct answer and you just have to show how you actually traverse let's start we start from the p how you actually traverse to get the shortest path distances at the end so you just have to answer the correct sequence of doing it the next question is related to the black box testing and what it is called this is completely static question nothing hard and you just complete it in that way question number 27 is related to the sql which are like uh, related to strings some of the functions which you can apply or some of the methods which you can apply you just have to understand what is the similar one uh, that is uh, used to find this thing in sql now which is used for uh, this uh, thing i think this question has been repeated now so don't worry. Next question is related to the uh, cyber security, the denial of service. This is very important topic. Many questions have been asked from the cyber security and here you have the denial of service. The next question is related to a command or where you are going to open a file in C and uh, like uh, read. When I say open a file in C, it means the C directory, not the language. How to read it, then what kind of command you are going to use in Python. That particular question is there. Now, I hope you have attempted all the questions. Now, it's time to reveal the answers. So, these are the answers for all the 10 questions for this particular video. Just mark yourself honestly. Give yourself the honest marks. If you are getting anything between 1 to 5, it is very bad marks. You have to buck up very uh, soon because it is not the thing that will help you to grab the competition if you're getting anything between six and seven it is just a mediocre thing like an average score you need to do at least some effort to get in the range of eight or nine okay if you are anywhere between eight to ten just see where you went wrong and then if you need to brush up the old concepts just need to see where what are the areas where you need to work on okay otherwise eight to ten score is very good score now this was all for this particular video and i hope this video was good for you meant uh, some kind of information added some kind of 
uh, knowledge to your uh, current uh, knowledge and if you like this video do hit the like button subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any kind of video from our side whenever we are going to bring any video related to your preparation you can prepare 50 percent faster with iexambi by checking out our courses at www.iexambi.com don't forget to check out the course of the sebi for comprehensive course if you still have any question you can mention that in the comment section or if you want to call us out or reach us you can just give us a call on the number that is flashed on the screen or on the email id that has been shown so that was all from my side till i bring the next video keep practicing and stay updated